We're starting to see the consequences of an American drone strike that killed Iran's top military leader. First, Iran says it will no longer honor the 2015 nuclear deal with world powers in the wake of the assassination of Qasem Soleimani. The escalation in U.S.-Iran tensions that have culminated in Soleimani's killing arguably began when Donald Trump pulled America out of the treaty designed to stop Iran from building a nuclear weapon. Iran's government now says it will no longer limit its enrichment of uranium, following an emergency meeting in which lawmakers chanted, Death to America. And Iraq wants U.S. forces out of the country after Soleimani was killed on Iraqi soil. He commanded Iran's elite Quds force and is widely considered the country's second most powerful figure after its supreme leader, who has sworn severe revenge against the U.S. We're going to take all actions necessary, not only in Iraq, but throughout the region, to protect Americans. As America braces for possible retaliation and its troops focus now on protecting themselves, the U.S. fight against ISIS is being put on hold. The American-led coalition in Iraq and Syria says in a statement, we are now fully committed to protecting the Iraqi bases that host coalition troops. If Iraq's prime minister signs the bill calling for the removal of some 5,000 U.S. troops from his country, it could greatly impact the containment of ISIS in the region. As mourners took to the streets of Iran to walk alongside Soleimani's casket, crying and holding up posters of their slain general, Washington and Tehran also got caught up in a war of words on Twitter. Iran's information minister calling Trump a terrorist in a suit. But if Iran, whose three-day mourning period is over on Sunday, follows through on its vow for vengeance, Trump tweeted he would bomb 52 sites in Iran, some at a very high level and important to Iran and the Iranian culture. He added in part, those targets and Iran itself will be hit very fast and very hard. It may be that there's a little noise here in the interim and that the Iranians make the choice to respond. I hope that they don't. President Trump has made clear what we will do in response if they do, that our response will be decisive and vigorous, just as it has been so far. And NATO ambassadors will get together in Brussels on Monday to discuss the situation in the Middle East. It comes after the alliance this weekend decided to suspend its Canadian-led training mission in Iraq amid heightened security concerns. For City News, I'm Karen Seolin.